Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to ETS2. Oh my goodness. The deluge of that XG and XG plus mods that we've gotten the past few days since this truck released. It's amazing. We have quite a comprehensive list and I've compiled some of my favorite ones to show you. But first, before we go into the details, let's go in here. Let's go and get some ambient sounds in here and what better sounds can serve other than Zmod's new DAF 6 MX-13 sound and engine pack. Here we go. <laughs> Can you say that out loud? <laughs> Repeatedly, three times fast. There it is. Don't worry, we'll hear that again from the interior later on. Gives me goosebumps hearing those level of quality sounds. Kind of hear some ticking as well. Quite interesting. Alright, in the interior, how the sounds like? Of course, super crispy. And my favorite springing indicator lever. <laughs> Love it. Custom window sounds. Lights, parking brakes, wipers, you name it, we got it. Let's hear how the startup sounds again from the interior this time. Here we go. Pay attention to the keys that you might hear that are moving. There, the last moment beautiful attention to detail and as we rev in the interior ah just chills man chills all right we'll hear more of that as we go first let's talk about the route the route will be from Castamonu to which place is that Ferizli in Turkey here in Row X 3.0 the map we are currently driving in I also have a couple of experiments going on at the same time I'll tell you all about it as we get on the road Rex there and Alan doing pretty good just chilling enjoying the engine sounds right. and as with your guys requests we're going to try something a bit different today we're going to be driving with windows open as requested. And I think for this truck in particular, having windows open is a lot more immersive because you can hear a lot more of those uh, minor, not, I won't really call it minor, but those subtle, subtle sounds that come from the exhaust, come from the engine and come from all the different parts of the sound pack. And those get muffled normally when you are in the interior with windows up like this one and it's properly muffled it's properly realistic it's properly insulated and i think that's really how it should sound like in a real truck when you're inside the cab like this with windows closed from what i've heard from real truck drivers commenting in the videos thank you for your inputs guys they've been telling me that in a real truck in a real modern truck, the insulation is so good that you don't even have to raise your voice to talk to each other inside the truck because the, you can barely hear the engine anymore if it's insulated like this, if the windows are closed. So from that point of view, that sounds great. But for us simmers, we always like it when we hear a bit more of an oomph in our engine sounds, more of a roar. And in this particular case, I think having windows open is a very good solution. Right, so, best of both worlds. If you want it insulated and realistic, close the windows. If you want it oomphy, 
yes that's a technical term go and open your windows and enjoy the ride so that's what we'll be doing today right let's get on with the job here so what else if you are uh, not within the reach of this mod if the price point is a bit steep for you if you don't have a way to pay for it because it is payware the mod sounds his latest packs have been payware rather did i say freeware payware oh come on you can do it granted it's not very expensive this one in particular is 399 pounds british pounds and normally that one would say anyone can afford that but uh, i understand that we all have different priorities and that might not be in reach for you no judgments there so if ever that is not within reach then you have a free alternative Krishboom has some sounds for the DAF-06 the DAF-106 before and now made compatible by Max for the DAF-XG Plus as well XG and XG Plus so you can go and download those as always everything here guys everything I mentioned they are detailed in the mods list link in the video description okay so uh, just check that out and go shopping from there that can be your hub and I update that with every mod that I try out so that list is ever evolving but yes so either Z mods which is the best quality in my opinion but you have to pay for it or go with the free version Crash Bomb's older MX-13 sounds not bad at all especially compared with vanilla so you can go with either one right so from the sound department you got yourself covered which is the biggest lacking thing in my opinion and in many people's opinions in the default SES content the sounds are the most uh, are the biggest gaps we have so you've got yourself covered from that point of view and if you're going to take anything away from this video just go and help yourself download the sound mod and you should be all set okay <laughs> end of the video bye guys <laughs> but no if you want something more then i have something more for you let's go and start with the exterior as you can see we are using a custom paint job here a clumsy trucking paint job actually very nice very sleek i love the lines i love the colors thank you silly panda for creating this for me so he made a specific clumsy trucking paint job for the daf xg and xg plus and it looks pretty good it's awesome that is available in the steam workshop and also of course that is available in the mods list as well and that's free he also made as you can see behind we have this very fancy aerodynamic trailer right that is from uh, Amir Madavi the MB aerodynamic trailer or where am I going but by default you won't have a DAF skin so this is a combination of the aerodynamic trailer from uh, Amir Madavi available in the steam workshop and again silly panda on a roll creating paint jobs left and right but this time creating a DAF specific paint job for this trailer so you need the trailer and the separate paint job for it okay both are available in the steam workshop both are in the mods list but i am loving it and i love how the way uh, silly panda made this because this trailer you have three possible options for this daft skin you can have either just the i think the white one the plain one we have a customizable color one which is the what i used so i can customize it to have the the clumsy blue in there and the white which is perfect combination for this truck skin and you even have a metallic paint job available so depending on your mood so go and check out those mods go and check out all of silly pandas paint jobs amazing work he's putting out and uh, he's fast becoming a master of his craft Merc truck dealer has been discovered so those are ones i recommend as well okay you might have noticed though another thing if you stick to the default DAF XG truck without any mods you might have noticed that there are quite a limited number of customization options especially the front grille like this where the DAF logo is 
you might have noticed that you only have one option by default that's the gray is it plastic grill right and there is actually there are a couple of different mods out there which add painted versions of the grill and other parts of the truck but i recommend one from the scs forums okay and it's it's a bit more of the basic option it only has a painted grill for the front grill here but not the other part so it's a bit limited from that point of view what happened there the map blacked out <clears throat> but uh, i recommend it because it's in the scs forum so you know it's legit you know that the link provided there is uh, the original one there are a couple of fancier mods out there i saw some that are adding like blinkers i think so when you use the blinkers it's uh, animated and not only going on and off it's like what do you call it rolling blinkers animated blinkers very fancy very nice looking there's also other like ca cabin or uh, chassis options six by four low deck more painted parts air conditioning at the top but you might notice i don't have that in my mods list i have i don't have those in my mods list because i've only been able to see those links from the quite infamous ets2 mod sites that we have and i as much as possible i don't want to recommend those mods i don't want to recommend those sites i try to stay away from them as much as possible especially if you're brand new to the modding community to the modding game to the modding scene i don't recommend you go there because it's very tricky yeah um from both for your safety and for the safety and for the protection of the mod author because uh re-uploads are a very common thing there like people getting the mod re-uploading it and claiming it as their own stuff like that it kind of detracts from the 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 work of the mod author themselves so in those mod sites it is very hard to pinpoint if the mod you're downloading is a re-upload or you're using the original link so as much as possible i only try to share those uh, mods that are linked that have actually an SCS forum post or something their own website or something that is official you know not just from the mod sites and especially not directly with like the share mods link or the google drive link or whatever i try not to share it like that because when i share one when i share something with you guys i want it to be as uh, you know i want there to be some context so you can review for yourself if you like it you can uh, evaluate if it's something you'd want based on the description you'd know the caveats the instructions from the mod author the limitations the bugs and you know where you need to go when you need support that's why i don't just give out the share mods link i i hate doing that and i that's my pet peeve actually when people share just the share mods link because you're not even sure what you're downloading right you have to open it so i always want to link to the official post official website whether that's SES forums or a website of their own or a steam workshop link as long as it's the official one and if such a thing does not exist then i try not to share it as much as possible just to stay on the safe side you know, unless it's like really must have that you cannot live without you guys hear this engine break Oh my goodness, gruffiest engine brake I've ever heard. This is why we want the windows open. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't hear all that gruffiness. It'll all be muffled away to our detriment. Goodness, that was scary. Also, you guys enjoying the map? Raw X goodness we have here. Very unique building style very unique road networks very different from the usual stuff we're uh, driving through in europe quite nice exploring turkey this way this might be a nice photo opportunity later engine brake 
<laughs> love it um, not sure what that bus, bus is planning but uh, they seem to have done a full stop and have no plans of moving forward anytime soon that might be tricky huh anyway oh there you go okay maybe that is that intersection has an, an like a stop sign indication in there because it looks like they're giving everybody else a right of way we'll have to be very careful of that pay close attention guys to the sounds during the low revs you hear all the guttural sounds I'm claiming that term that the engine makes Oh my goodness. Such a weird junction. Even the AI is confused. <laughs> Going to Istanbul this way, okay. Off we go. Oh, and of course, the AI car didn't stop. Yeah, I think this junction, very interesting looking, but I think it has to be refined. The logic has to be refined there somewhat to teach the AI better how to drive there. Alright, off we go. So, what else do I have? You saw, well, you heard the engine sound. You saw the paint jobs. The painted parts as well. The painted parts, by the way, are from Winchester 1979. And it's called the DAF XG and XG Plus painted parts. That's available in the SCS forums. And the link is in the mods list. You know the drill. Okay? What else do we have? We have a very fancy high-res dashboard that is called the high-quality dashboard. Uh, surprise, surprise. The high-quality dashboard by the Tiger, specifically made for this new truck. And what it does is it makes the edges, the numbers, higher quality. So even if you're zoomed in like this, it looks very nice. Now some of the numbers I think are still a bit blurred if you look at the upper right the fuel consumption and the icons there are a bit blurry still but the other ones the bigger numbers what the heck are these guys doing cutting me off like so yeah if you look at the bigger numbers the speedometer the uh, the kilometer or counter of course I don't know the, <laughs> the term the term evades me at the moment but yes much higher quality much better looking there's even a 120 km per hour speed limit indication in there now although won't really reach those parts normally so oftentimes you won't even get there i don't think i've ever reached 120 kilometers ever on this truck on any truck but it's nice to see it there and the bends the curves of the dashboard have just been made more high quality so it looks better overall even from afar and especially when zoomed in like this it's very nice also in the mods list for sure yeah. so highly recommend those things let's hear how the retarder sounds like there you go you can hear the retarder whining complaining while you're using it ay 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 AI, come on. And you're not exiting, you're just moving there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's move this outer lane. Oh, and of course that guy won't stop. What the heck is up with these AI? Is there a specific uh, Turkish AI logic that was put in here? I have no clue. Even this guy is stuck. That's okay, we drive defensively, most of the time. So what else, what other mods do I recommend? Well, you might have noticed as well, the mirror. Not the mirror cam itself, that's cool and that's there by default. But, but you might have noticed the field of view is much better. It's less narrow, it's a lot more realistic. So you can gauge distances better and when reversing when parking that actually works much much better so you have a the mirror at the top which has a very narrow field of view 
for gauging distances much better and you have the wide camera at the bottom the wide field of view at the bottom right there so you can see more it's harder to gauge distances at that point but at least you can see if something's coming at you and where your trailer is when you're turning abrupt angles when you're reversing so both have their purpose and both are looking great but what I use there is the true mirror FOV mod that's in the mods list as well and that's applicable not just for this truck but for all trucks so even if you use other trucks whether it's default or modded most of the time it's still working quite interesting how that is implemented let's check out the true mirror FOV mod available also in the steam workshop for free everything is free guys except the sound pack from Z mod and uh, even at that payment 399 pounds my goodness yeah gladly pay for it take my money and I actually did and he actually did good oh oh no customer is calling me now hearing that knock hearing tone ignore him right what else do I have well I have a bit more my favorite phone GPS is part of the cabin accessories DLC from ETS2 but what you might notice is if you're new to the channel you might notice why there is a speed limit there normally that phone GPS doesn't have a speed limit that is from my mod I made that on my own that's a very basic mod I did I know very basic modding oh engine brake goodness so I simply put the speed limit at that point what the heck maybe I hit the rails my bad so I simply put the speed limit there yeah so that's uh, you need Google GPS that's a requirement otherwise it looks weird it looks a bit weird but put the Google GPS mod below the night mode I think maybe not even the night mode is the night mode is needed but yes the night mode and then put my uh, speed limit for phone GPS mod on, at the, on top of it and that should work like that now you might have another question why is it that the actual GPS is turned off and why don't I like it the actual GPS is kind of nice because it's big but it because it's big it's zoomed in it tends to show its jagged edges you know it's uh, it's less like low resolution it becomes more obvious so I'm not a, a huge fan of it that's why I'd rather turn it off and just keep this one now by default that doesn't work by default you when you have the phone GPS here you it would in addition have the GPS there so it's like a double kind of thing which is a bit weird a bit uh, redundant and so I don't recommend that so what I do as kind of a workaround as a as a nice side effect is I, I downloaded who was it Alexei P he has a Garmin 50 LMT navigator so it's a GPS device and uh, the nice side effect of that mod is even if you're not using the GPS device itself is it is it by default it it blackens it turns off the built-in GPS from the dashboard so that's what I'm using I'm using his Garmin mod to turn off the default GPS and then I'm using the phone GPS accessory that's what you're seeing in front of you pretty cool and I, I like this setup so in case all of that is overwhelming if you're going to take anything away from this episode let's check out the mods list link in the video description and have fun <laughs> happy mod shopping well shopping for free mods even better but yes that's how it goes and I'm liking that setup especially these sounds yeah Z mod has been at it non-stop my goodness when was the last mod spotlight video four days ago 
within the same week. I think he's released one within a matter of a week. Two different sound mods for completely different trucks released within a week of each other. That guy is on a roll. But it's worth it. And I'm happy that we got some new sound packs for him. Very timely as well. Making it compatible for this new truck from SCS. Very nicely done. The interior, the exterior models are amazing. Here you can see how where the wide angle mirror cam at the bottom is helping. Getting us a, an idea of where we are high level in general. Ballpark figure and then the one at the top is more for accuracy. For checking and for adjusting. I love those brakes, those air brakes. Custom sounding as well. I'm going to hit this guy, hope not. That looks passable. Yeah. Okay, might have to straighten it out. Well, it accepted that, but we won't have that. We'll make it really good. Because we have such nice field of view in the mirrors, we can afford to perfect that parking. Very nice there. So go and check out the mods, guys. Enjoy them. And if you use any of them as well, or if you have better ideas in mind, let me know. Looking forward to your comments. And let's, as always, crowdsource the goodness, right? Because we have the hashtag best community ever with these mods. Let's make it even better better -er with sharing those mods to the rest of the community. Awesome stuff. All right. Ah, uh, love those sounds. All right, let's go and get paid. Castamono to Ferrisli. 241 kilometers. No damage on the cargo itself. I'll take that. Looking good there. By the way, one last note. I was experimenting to see if uh, I could get rid of my stutters or lessen them. So I kind of, I kind of maybe fired all my drivers. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it doesn't seem like it eliminated the stutters. If anything, it might have lessened that a bit, but no, I don't think that is the culprit. So at least one factor down, let's continue investigating. But for sure, it's related to own trailers. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Catch you in the next video and clumsy trucking, guys. Bye-bye. Catch you soon.